Sweet William arose one May morning and dressed himself in blue. Come tell unto me all about the love between Lady Margaret and you. Oh, I know nothing of Margaret's love and she knows nothing of me. But in the morning at half past eight, Lady Margaret my bride shall see. Lady Margaret was sitting in a bower room, a combing back her hair. When who did she spy but William and his bride, as to church they did repair. Then down she threw her ivory comb in silk, bound up her hair. And out of the room this fair lady ran, she was never any more seen there. Day passed away, and the night coming on, and the most of the men asleep. Sweet William espied Lady Margaret's ghost, a standing at his bed feet. Well, the night passed away, and the day coming on, and the most of the men awake. Sweet William said, I am troubled in my head by the dream I dreamed last night. He's rode up to Lady Margaret's door and jingled at the ring. And none so ready as a seventh born brother to arise and let him in. Oh, is she in her kitchen room? Or is she in a hall? Or is she in her bower room among her merry maids all? She is neither in her kitchen room, nor neither in her hall. But she is in her cold, cold coffin with her pale face to the wall. Pull down, pull down those winding sheets all made of satin fine. Ten thousand times you've kissed my lips, and now love I'll kiss thine. Three times he kissed her milk-white breast, three times he kissed her chin. And when he kissed her cold clay lips, his heart it broke within. Lady Margaret was buried in the old churchyard, sweet William was buried close by. And out of her there sprang a red rose, and out of him a briar. And they grew so tall, and they grew so high, they scarce could grow any higher. And there they tied in a true lover's knot, the red rose and 